Hey guys, um, and right now I'm outside, as you probably noticed, and you cannot be squidding for a couple of minutes before the wind gets incredibly annoying. And I just did a terrible cast with a spinning wheel with all my own, and um, I'm just using a uh, Ink Master squid jig, and uh, as you see. I'm in a little port thing here, and uh, it's a great place for fishing during the summer, and not really for the winter, but I'm going to try some squid, because uh, a lot of uh, fishermen suggested this place for me, um, for squidding. And right now, uh, I'm using my Elysium 210 with some uh, Trilene Sensation 10 pound test. And the floor cup written leader of a eight contest uh, line. And uh, as I already said, the little Ink Master Squid Jig, which is probably getting close to here. Ugh. It's got lots of seaweed on it. Okay, yeah, I was able to free it right now. Let's see if I can put the camera down for a second. I see right now. Um, right now, as you see, I've let the camera down. I hope you guys can see so. Um, and I've seen cool squid coming from this area, and it should be pretty good. Okay, so uh, right now, I think I have a squid, or I think it's nagging on something. I'm not sure, I think it's nagging on something just another time, yeah. But I think it was an octopus, maybe, beginning or something. Because I felt something really go in. Pull on it. Um, anyways, I'm in Cannes, in France. Should you guys not remember from some of my previous videos talking about this place it's an awesome place to go fishing winter for uh, squid and cuttlefish um really big squid right around here especially especially if you go on a boat and uh yeah i'm going to do some more cast and the other day i a which really don't buy it if you find that find it in any store because it sucks it's the only uh but top part of lure that i've seen that sinks so the pop of that sinks with because it re literally has a le thing of lead right here i didn't see it from the box and so i bought it and i was like really happy about it and about i bought three of those and then uh, they look like really awesome lures it probably would be if it wasn't for the fact that they sink which really makes it impossible to make them pop so i try to make them pop and everything but um the practice what they did they would just jump out of the water thing out of the water now i just did the suckiest ever cast uh i'm gonna try to cast more on my left which might be your right uh, watching for from YouTube, I'm not really sure. I got some old people behind me thinking I'm crazy while I'm talking to myself, but um, you guys know I'm not. Maybe there's two people on YouTube watching my videos right now. They kind of enjoy this thing, so yeah. Um, so squidding. Now, if you might see from the videos, the uh. Wind is getting really bad, but uh, I'm still gonna be crazy enough to do some catching or maybe at least trying to. By the way, the other video that I did the other day, um, of or as it says in the video, it was really bad weather, um, lots of wind, like tonight maybe. Um, and yeah, and so uh, the catches was um, one pretty small calamari, which sucked.
So, squid jigging. I really like about squid jigging and fishing for crawfish, for calamari and crawfish fishing. And especially octopus. Which the other day I lost one of the biggest octopus I've ever caught. Um, which was about one kilo and a half. About, um, and, uh, using 10 pound braid from Power Pro. And, um, uh, yeah. So, again, squid jigging, um, is really something awesome, I believe, because it's bringing the wor world of spinning into catching some squid fishing. Squid, squid, squid or uh, little fish, or sometimes if you're lucky, octopus. So, um, maybe if you wanted to catch those cuttlefish or octopus, and you but you don't know how to, first of all, you want to get uh, squid jigging lures like the normal ones. That sink. That's the first step. Um, for octopus, I suggest big lures. Um, because I mean, the bigger the better. In this case, then um, you want to jig them really slow, really on the bottom, because that's where the octopus stay. Yesterday, I actually had a normal squid jig that would uh, sink at uh, like 2.5 uh, meter per second or something, and I cast it. Then, like a little squid from my other video, attack the lure. Well, I just ran and got that uh, rod. Then came back. I felt something really big, and I thought, oh god, I got like onto some big weed and uh, snagged on it. Then in the end I found out that uh, it was a big octopus and right on the tip of the pier when I was going to just uh, bring it over with the net um, the whole thing just uh, fell off and I was like nah! but I um I estimate it was around one and a half kilos and that's pretty good around here for octopus especially if we're not actually looking for it we still catch it that's great. Another way to catch an octopus, especially during the day, you're getting some uh, fish, like a small uh, a mackerel maybe, um, that's maybe dead, which doesn't really matter, because uh, I found out that they eat anything too much, um, and uh, also big shrimp, uh, any pretty much big anchovies, anchovy, I'm not sure, um, bait fish, awesome, pretty much any fish, and uh, they will probably eat it. You just uh, get um animal. When you're setting your sublime, you attach as many hooks around four or five uh, minimum. Sometimes you go on up to fifty, and uh, you just get the poor little fish full of that of those big uh, sinker, like a one fifty gram or so. Uh, you can drop shot works well, and uh, yeah. And you just cast it into a big pack of weeds, maybe just like beside it, so you can uh, so you don't get denied for sure. And uh, you can just wait a couple hours or so, and uh, you'll be fine with that. Look at there's something there. No, no. it's not to go. Yeah. Okay, it's really full of weed, and lately, uh, all the has died and yeah now we'll end this video by saying uh, go fishing for squid Woo.